So all my life, I've wanted to make a sci-fi movie like Invasion Planet Earth. I was really inspired by things like Doctor Who, Six Million Dollar Man, Battlestar Galactica, the original. And I'd written this script uh, for Invasion Planet Earth. I actually finished it in about 2000. And I tried for ages to get it funded. You know, I did everything the right way. I, you know, I approached the film industry. I did the business plans, cash flow forecasts. I had meetings with investors. I... Um, I did that whole Dragon's Den thing when you pitch to investors and they all kind of lay into you. But after about 10 years of bashing my head against a brick wall, I just thought, if I'm going to do this, I've just got to ask people for help. So I, I put um, a little thing together on Facebook for, for kick, a little Kickstarter campaign. And over 100 people came in and they all chipped in 10 quid here, 20 quid there. And it was absolutely brilliant. So over the next two years, I ran seven campaigns. I got, which is, if anyone's ever done a crowdfunding campaign, I'll tell you, it's insane. It's really, really hard work. I was trying to be as inventive as possible. And I said, you know, come and get blasted by aliens. And, uh, you know, for 100 quid, someone would get blasted in close up by aliens. Uh, if you wanted to be a zombie, 25 quid, come and be a zombie. And, and, you know, we got 80 people there that all chipped in 25 pounds, which paid for our zombie day. Ah, oh, lo lovely people, the Pip Piper, Pip, head of the Producers Forum here in the UK. He was very, very supportive. You know, and everybody wanted to help. There's a guy there, Vince, slightly awkward. He, he gave me, you know, chipped in quite a bit. And uh, I think, I don't know what, it, what he wanted from it really, but um, he wasn't happy. Anyway, I haven't really spoken to him since. But anyway, there's lots of other people on there that I'm speaking to, Simon Regler. He's, a, he's the editor of Doctor Who, Simon Regler. He has edited Doctor Who. Pippa, Pippa Cross, one of Britain's top producers. She chipped in. She gave me loads of advice. A lot of people kind of like, you know, liked being part of this huge thing, you know, because I, I kept saying, no, this is going to be the biggest British <laughs> indie sci-fi movie of all time, which when you say it a few times, it sounds quite good. Somebody actually just put a little envelope from my door with a thousand pound check in it at one point. Nathan, uh, we don't really talk anymore, I apologise. Now the soldiers, all the soldiers you see uh, in the film, they all came along for one evening. We managed to close off central Birmingham. I managed to convince the local council to allow us to completely close off the centre. And at the same day we brought the soldiers in, we brought tanks in, we had lights on cranes, it was a big production. And looking back on it, I don't know, I don't know how I've done it to be honest. So many credits. Gene May, oh, Trevor Haywood, another filmmaker. That was the other thing, loads of filmmakers supported me. Loads of indie filmmakers jumped on board and chipped in and young producers and, and it was great. And everybody came in and, and just were part of it. John Neil Park, oh, John, you've been so great to me. David Rene Butcher, oh man, the guy just, I mean, it, it chokes me up a bit actually because uh, they, they went beyond what they needed to do to help me. And I think... Uh, I'm, I'll be forever thankful. I just hope I can pay a lot of these people back. The thing is, what I've realised is when you're really passionate about something, if you ask for help, it's actually amazing how many people out there do actually want you to succeed despite you know, some of the negative things we hear. Um, and I think, I think the world needs people to sort of do things and, and experiment. We don't need any more critics. It was a massive team effort. I, and I can't tell you, I, I, I've had so much fun on this film. I just, I just really hope you guys like it as much as I do. So thanks for all your support and thank you to all my backers for everything they've done. I'm, I'm, just, uh, I'm just blown away.